Hey there, Michelle, Dreaming English. And I want to tell you a story that happened to me when I was in college. Well, it was my freshman year and I live in Massachusetts and my best friend, she lives in Michigan and it was winter break right after Christmas and I was determined that I wanted to drive to go visit my best friend, Karen. And this video is dedicated to my best friend, Karen, in Michigan. So there's two ways to go from Massachusetts to Wyandotte, Michigan, which is right south of Detroit, Michigan. One way to drive under the Great Lakes and another way to go, which is faster by four hours to drive over the Great Lakes and drive through Canada. So that was what I was going to do because the first way to drive under the Great Lakes would take 20 hours. So 20 hours if I was going to drive under the Great Lakes and to drive over the Great Lakes, it would take me 16 hours. So I chose to go through Canada. Now, as I was saying, I was in college, so I didn't have a lot of money and it was right after Christmas. So it was really, really cold and snowy and I would drive through Massachusetts and then through upstate, upstate New York and around Rochester, Niagara Falls is where I would go through Canada. Now I decided to drive cause it would be, it would be less expensive than if I was to fly to Michigan. So I decided to drive. What I didn't think about was that it was going to cost me a lot of money to buy gas for my car. And also I had to keep on paying tolls. When I was in upstate New York, I filled up my car with gas. Now I drove into Canada and I would have four hours to drive all the way through Canada where I would then come through Windsor and I would drive over the Detroit river. I would drive over the Detroit river and into Detroit. I found that the gas in Canada was much more expensive. So as I said, I didn't have a lot of money. I decided I'm going to keep on driving and I'm going to drive all the way through Canada and I'm not going to buy any gas until I get into Michigan. Well, I was getting very, very low on gas by the time I got to Windsor, but I figured, well, I only have one hour left. I can make it. And I'm driving and driving and I did. I got over the bridge, over this huge bridge that goes over the Detroit River. And I got onto the freeway in Detroit and I started heading down to Wyandotte, Michigan, where my best friend lives. But all of a sudden my car started to putt, putt, putt and I ran out of gas. Well, I was very, very close to an exit. So I thought I am going to push my car. Now there's no cell phones then. So then there wasn't any cell phones, so I couldn't call for help. I wasn't able to call. So I decided, I thought I am going to put my car in neutral and I'm going to get out of the car and I'm going to try to push it and I'm going to push my car to the exit. Well, that didn't go very well. I was pushing and pushing for about 20 minutes and now it's winter. In Detroit in winter is super, super cold. This woman saw me trying to push my car and she was, she had some kids in the car and she stopped behind me and she said, what are you, what are you doing? And I said, well, I ran out of gas and I need to push my car to the exit. And she said, well, no, you're not going to push your car to the exit. So she said, get in the car. I'll drive you to the gas station and we'll get some gas. So what else was I going to do? I figured, well, it was safe as a woman with children. So I got in the car with her and she drove me, she drove me to the gas station and I bought some gas and she drove me back to my car and I put the gas into my car and it was just enough. And I thanked her so much and it was just enough for me to get off of the highway and get to the gas station and fill up my car, which I did. And then I only had 20 minutes more to drive from Detroit to wind up Michigan to see my best friend. If you like this story, if you have any stories about how you ran out of gas, please put them in the comments below and please like and subscribe to our channel. 
Thanks for watching.